Hi there guys, my name is Chris Wilson from Raptor Maps. Today we're on site here in New York. We're going to be going over how to inspect the solar farm with the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advance. All right, so this method here is called the waypoint method. Uh, the difference between this and the mapping mission method is that the camera angle and aircraft yaw can be freely moved at any time and they'll stay where they're left. So there's no more yawing between different lines or worrying about holding a precise camera angle with the yaw, uh, the camera pitch. Uh, the only problem is you have to build the mission by hand and draw waypoints individually to make sure you have enough overlap, trigger an intervalometer for every two second image capture, and also make sure your aircraft travel speed is enough to get the overlap that you request. So it's a little more intense, but it's a lot easier of a flight once you get all those things figured out. So here's how you do it. Uh, you open up your smart controller, DJI Pilot, under mission flight, create a route, and the same four options, there's waypoint, mapping, oblique, and linear. We're gonna go for waypoint, and then set waypoints. We'll pull your actual location from the controller. And there's no boundary to draw, uh, unlike Ground Station Pro and the previous mapping mission. Uh, you just start tapping on the screen. So we're gonna do roughly, for this example inspection, we're gonna do a uh, waypoint every line of solar panels. So we're gonna start tapping like so. You can also click or tap and drag on certain waypoints to make them at uh, the right angle. This is a very imprecise process, but it, uh, is pretty good if you can get it proper. So, like so. It's good enough for a, a demo representation there. As you can see, it's a little bit uh, misaligned, so we're gonna just tidy up a little bit here. You'll notice that on each waypoint, there's a tiny little, uh, like a pointer. And that's what the aircraft is going to do by default. Uh, the turn direction. And we're going to get rid of that in one of these options over here. So once that looks like it's pretty okay, we're going to go over to this right hand side where these double arrows are and it says select aircraft. So we're going to type in or type in uh, the Mavic 2 Enterprise Advanced and switch over to the second panel down here. And this is where all the stuff happens here. So we're going to select 12 miles per hour as our example here. And the height is uh, 135 for this uh, example inspection. Now, here's where the uh, important stuff comes in. Aircraft yaw and gimbal control by default are along the route and for each waypoint. Uh, we're gonna change these both to manual. What this is going to do is that the aircraft's going to maintain a heading for the entire flight and the gimbal is going to remain wherever you leave it for you know maximum ease of, of capture. Upon completion, I prefer hover, but you can check what you want. And then for the bottom here, we have our settings. Now notice there's no um, overlap settings. There's no side lap, front lap, uh, GSD, anything like that. It's all based on just flight lines. So these have to be drawn accurately to get you the data you need. Just by doing this one per row does not necessarily mean that you get the right capture. So we complete, tap on save. Your graph's gonna take off of here and go over to the S point. We'll go ahead and do that right now. Select the waypoint mission. We'll go ahead and take off. Step prop. We're, at, we're close to the start point here. I'm going to pre align myself roughly where we need to be. Hit the play button. It's going to request the action to be uploaded to the aircraft. Hit start. It's going to fly forward a bit. I see the gimbal. Go ahead and pause it actually for a second. It's on the line. Uh, the gimbal is left where it, there's no like pre alignment. There's, you have to do everything yourself. So put the camera down. Turn the aircraft where you want it to be. A little far there, a little touchy. There we go. And then hit the play button. Now, once it starts actual line. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now it's on the actual mission. So now you want to line up properly. Make sure your camera angles where you want it to be. Again, if you pull it up like so, you can leave it where it is and it will properly stay there in the bottom right corner. 
Uh, another thing that the aircraft doesn't do, it does not take pictures, so you have to do this yourself. It's called the intervalometer. Top right corner here is a menu button. Under photo mode, there's a interval, and then two seconds. So now it's going to change your, your camera button to two seconds. Once you click the camera or that button, it'll begin the process. Tap it again to turn it off. So start your camera, start the aircraft, and the capture process begins. It's also kind of jumpy. Every time the aircraft takes a picture, it lags. So you may have some very uh, intermittent video here and there. So, but it is taking pictures constantly. You can see the uh, right side here. Heading to next waypoint. Yes, All right, so we're going, we're actually aligned to the panels already. The camera angle is down. And we're going to start the camera process, the intervalometer. Unpause the mission. Heading to next waypoint. And the aircraft is going to follow from waypoint to waypoint. It's going to be a bit jarry. Don't worry, it's capturing the pictures properly. All you have to do is make sure this camera remains left and right. There's no uh, editing once it gets to the end of each row. It'll just maintain this the entire time. If you need to change the camera angle, go ahead and do so with the roller wheel on the left side. And it will literally stay there the entire time. I recommend not changing it during the flight though. Make sure you have proper coverage and make sure Heading your camera angle is where it needs to be before you start the uh, inspection Heading mission. To next waypoint. 